now for the okay. thrilling conclusion. Now, I will say, I, f I feel like all you are just the uh, audio have made it so thing in game, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm okay with it. Actually, let me test something real fast. Yeah, just in case. About to lower this volume. Ah, yes, I see. Okay, I can hear it perfectly now. What did you even do? <laughs> uh, I'm actually in my computer system right now, using a special piece of bullshit. Ah, uh, yes. Where I've turned both you and the game up. Ah, uh, now I'm even louder. Alright, let me, let me go back to OPS real quick. We shall now get to the stunning conclusion of the of part two <laughs> of the second game. <laughs> Almost two thirds of the way done with the series. Court will now reconvene. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, yeah, they're both a little uh, upset. I can understand the, the defense acting like this. However, why do you also seem distraught, Mr. Edgeworth? I... that is... it's nothing, Your Honor. Something unexpected happened. We're about to get another, uh, witness, it seems. The handwriting analysis on Miss Impax's suicide note? Y yes Your Honor, unfortunately, we have discovered the suicide note is a forgery. What? What do you Real? mean? This... this note was not written by Miss Impax herself. It's a fake. Mr. Edgeworth, care to explain what's going on? This was not written by Mr. Paxton, who wrote it! We would need more time to have a more detailed analysis, however. It appears that this handwriting matches the victim. Ah. Oh. I... Well, well. She never left the suicide note after all. Which means Karita wrote it and use that as, like, a form of blackmail. However, Your Honor, even though the suicide note is indeed a fake, Mr. Ungod could not have known that, and so the facts remained unchanged. Acting under assumption that it was real, he had plotted to possess it. Present evidence. The defense believes the theory of the prosecution, as stated, contradicts testimony. To have not known it was a fake. We present. Spy camera. Shit, I could too far. Yeah, the spy cameras. This man was playing Big Brother all over this mother. The video camera, Your Honor. Well, a very small one, but. You kids and your fancy toys nowadays. You were fucking all over that teddy bear earlier. Mr. Agar, Mr. Edgeworth, earlier you claimed that Mr. Agar knew the existence of this note because he was spying on the victim. If oh. that were true, then that means Mr. Agar would have known the victim had forged the note. Ah! So the defendant knew the suicide note was a fake, and if that's true, then the situation suddenly changed in a very dramatic way. Exactly, Your Honor. He was protecting himself from slander. It suddenly disappeared in the thin air. But Your Honor, it's not if Mr. Un God monitored a victim 24 hours a day. Perhaps the victim wrote a note at a place the stone god didn't know of. Well, right back at you, Mr. Edgeworth. Why don't you show us some proof that the 
victim made forger in an unknown place. It looks like it this time. It is you who has dug his own grave. As I figured. As I figured it came down to this after all. I heard the results of the handwriting analysis. I thought this might happen. The question is, what next? What do you mean, what next? The prosecution can't un can't prove on God's motive through the evidence. Then we must prove it from another angle. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to call a witness to the stand at this time. Okay. How is this witness? This witness is a little unusual. I mean, we've had a fucking <coughs> parrot as a witness, so... What are we gonna do? Fucking call the killer himself to the stand? This witness is one who's perfectly fit to answer the question once and... Are you fucking serious? Who was it that hired Shelly the killer to commit murder? We're not actually fucking doing this, are we? I think we're actually doing this. Just keep going. It is... it's... It's a man himself. Mr. Shelly the killer. Oh my fucking god, we're actually doing this. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, even the judge is amazed that we're doing this. Yes, Your Honor. It's coming here, it's the witness day. Well, yes, in a manner of speaking. I recognize that this is a very unusual circumstance, so I ask for your permission. Yes. It's alright with you. Do I have a choice here? Defense has no objections. <laughs> I wonder Very what well the law then. states about this. Actually, technically, he would be under the protection of the law as long as he's in this courtroom testifying. But the moment he would step mm. out of this courtroom, uh, he would actually be arrested if he actually shows up here. <laughs> well, you're going to see how he circumvents that law then. Now then, witness, of uh, your name and your occupation, please. Very good, sir. Are we talking to a radio transceiver right now? Potentially, yes. My name is Shelly the Killer, and I'm a professional assassin. I said, what is going on here, Your Honor? How can you remain so calm? <laughs> what is the meaning of this two-way radio? Actually, Your Honor, it was delivered to me just now. It came with a condition. As long as we do not trace its source, Mr. DeKilla will testify to this court. This will not do. I can't allow this in my court. First of all, we can't even be sure this is really DeKilla himself. Witness, please pres present some sort of proof that you are in fact Shelly the Killer. I understand. Please wait a second. I'm so hungry. Maya. Do you confirm anything from this? The defense has no objections to this person. We are satisfied that this man is indeed Shelly the Killer. Now then, witness, there's one thing I'd like to confirm before we speak of anything else. What would that be? At the request of the client, you killed Mr. Juan. Is that is this correct? 
It is as you say. I did indeed kill Mr. Karita. Now that we have answered that, let's move on to the name of your client. Very well. This is not a bad dream. Yes, that's it. It's a bad dream. What is he going to say? Now for the testimony. The fuck? There's something I must first state. To an assassin, nothing is more important than the trust between the client and himself. And that is the reason I am here today on the witness stand. It is my wish that you grasp this concept before I give you the name of my client. Mr. The Killer seemed to be a very clever man. I don't want to say he seems to be mocking us. Well, he may appear to be our enemy, Your Honor. This particular is only stating the truth. He's not the hypocrite. He has always stood by this one belief. You mean this trusted between his clients and himself thing? Be a little trust beyond what most people like me can comprehend. Well, Mr. Wright, are you ready to cross-examine this witness? I like, I like how we're cross-examining this part. Uh, sure. I mean, what the fuck are we supposed to do here? Okay. The, well, the first thing he's supposed to do is press him on the statement to an assassin. Nothing. Trust between you and your client. I provide my services in a fast and efficient manner. In exchange, I trust that my clients are discreet about me and my identity. Too many people knew my face, but it would be quite troublesome. Is that why you're testifying in this manner? This is the first time one of my clients has ever been accused of murder. Okay, I must say right here, this line <laughs> would, if he could be used in testimony to put our man away for good. Just this line alone. Well, you know, because he's straight up saying Mr. Ungard is his clients. I mean, he hasn't said that yet, so... One of my clients has been accused of murder. He hasn't said the name, though. I must preserve the killer name so my clients can trust me. Couldn't, stab you, couldn't someone stab you in the back and break your trust? It has never happened before, but if it ever did... Yes? That person wouldn't be my client for very long. It would certainly... That's enough. No more. <laughs> very well. It was only a hypothetical, anyways. Okay, now you're gonna press him on the statement, and that is the reason I am here. Damn. Seems a little strange to me. I mean, you're about to tell everyone the name of your clients. I think this would be very bad for them. It doesn't matter to me. The client has already broken the rules and acted outside of a prescribed rule. Well, their prescribed rule. Their rule. This person tried to implicate another of the crime in order to save themselves. This is a trespass that cannot be forgiven. Gave you the right to be so high and mighty. To the gentleman who spoke <laughs> just now, excuse me, but would you care to die? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Say anything. Uh, okay, now let me, I need to read this here because I'm not sure. Okay, so we're gonna press him on the statement to an assassin, nothing is more. Again, for some reason. Hold it. The 
trust between you and your client. I'm sorry, but I was wondering about something you just said. You said your client had already broken the rules. A person who frames another is the worst kind of human. Coming from an assassin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This isn't going the way it should be. I have no trust relation with a client who can't understand their assigned role. Now then, everyone, do you think you can understand my logic? Uh, I don't like where this is going. If you can't, then I'm afraid we can't proceed. Everyone understands your point, I think, really. In that case, I believe I'm prepared to disclose the information you seek. Better not say who I think he's going to say. You've made it crystal clear that you value trust over all else. I believe we are ready. Excellent. And now you're gonna press him on the statement now that I do. What was that? Now then, I do believe it's about time I revealed the name of my client, don't you? If you can't ask it, Mr. Wright, then I will. Witness, what is the name of the client who requested the murder? That person's name is... Adrian I Andrews. fucking knew it! <laughs> now, I, d I did tell you, he didn't say Matt on guard. Can't be incriminated. Witness. That is not who you told me it was earlier. Pray tell, what are you talking about, Mr. Prosecutor? I should think I'd know my own client, and that it is Adrian Andrews. What? This, this can't be on the phone earlier. Just stabbed Edgeworth in the back. I knew it. I fucking knew this was coming. This is outrageous. I've been deceived. This witness is telling a very serious lie. Gurf. Gurf. You Shelly the Killer. My testimony is the truth. The defendant at the moment is Matt on guard, am I correct? All I wish to do is help procure his acquittal. actually win this, but I don't want to win this. seem to have caused you all a bit of confusion. Please continue your discussion and call me when you have reached a verdict. Bailiff, please bring Miss Adrian Andrews in immediately. 
Prosecution requests permission to further question the witness. Shadow the killer is lying under oath. It wasn't me. It's testimony just now. It's one big lie. It's Andrews. They've been a fake, but that man, Matt, he's the reason Silas. Sil Damn, I can't even say the name now. Died. It is, I mean, it is Celeste who's been saying it wrong the entire time. <laughs> Whatever. Juan's death it was all because he got pulled into Matt's twists world. That testimony just now, you have to believe me. It was a horrible, horrible lie. Testified. Named you as his clients. True. It's... Clearly, we're, this isn't the first time. Blood. The knife, the button, donning the nickel samurai costume. You even have a motive. Against the two who hurt her. right you know the truth tell them tell them the real story who the real killer is tell them please I know the truth At the end of this trial its final words or opinions Request the trial to continue. Am I allowed to get a different ending if I request the verdict now? Listen, this isn't how you get the achievements, so I know. <laughs> Damn. You gotta keep going. What did you press? Trial to continue. Uh, okay, I didn't see the fucking thing to move down to that option, so I was concerned. The thing is, I have to use the arrow keys to do it. I decided to just click on it, because that automatically chooses it for me. Okay. <laughs> I can't let him get away. I have to face the fact. That's because of Edgeworth, so I now know the real truth. <laughs> Defense requests that. We'd be allowed to further question the killer! Right. The witness has cleared your client through his testimony. Your job here is done. To see through the witness's lies and find the truth. That is my job. A miracle! Will occur. Right away, Your Honor. Has a verdict been reached? Before that, we would like to talk with you a little more. About? All you needed from me was the name of my client. What else could you need me for? Well, actually, we would like to hear everything you know about this case. 
That is how things are usually done around here. Mr. Dekilla, if you don't mind, please testify about your client in more detail. You legal people in your proceedings. Is it any wonder no one likes to go to court? <laughs> I mean, no one likes jury duty. I still haven't been called for jury duty. <laughs> As I've already said, stated quite a few times, Adrian and Andrew... However, one thing I simply cannot overlook is tampering with the scene of the crime. My client did it to frame another for the crime, while pretending to be the first person to discover the body and enter the scene. Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Corito was dead. But even more appalling is the creation and planting of the, of the knife and button. Fuck my knee. That act is what I was referring to when I said my client had broken the rules. I realized the killer was fucking with us halfway through his testimony. <laughs> Everything has finally been revealed. Objection! Just a second, Your Honor. Should I have a we still have a cross examination to do? The defense will question the witness. That makes I don't two of get us. You, I don't get you people. Okay, so this testimony is really quick and easy. On the statement, uh, Adrian Andrews already knew from the very beginning that Juan Carrito's dead. You will present the wine glass. Bam! Boom, bitch! Get out the way! <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the time to satisfy Mr. Killer. What is the meaning of that attitude? When Adrian Andrews entered the victim's room, your client had no idea one had been murdered. Just from this wine glass, Your Honor. Mr. DeKitter's supposed client thought our victim had only fainted. Which is why the glass of tomato juice was poured for the victim. That's not even possible, Your Honor. The glass bears a fingerprint of the person. Had this been planted, they would have never left their fingerprints behind. Strangely enough, I had the exact same thought just now. So, witness, how do you explain the strange phenomenon? Isn't it a waste of time to ask about such a minor detail? It's not a very important point anyways, correct? I'm afraid you are mistaken. If Agent Andrews really is your client as you claim, then your client should have knowledge of the victim's death. If not... Then it can only mean Adrian Andrews was never your client at all. How strange. Why is it that the attorney has yet to raise an objection at this absurd situation? Uh... Okay. Yeah. Mr. Edge, we're fine surprise. You know you can't say things like that without any evidence. Uh, sorry.
Anyway, I'm positive there was a contradiction in that testimony. <laughs> the prosecution Yo, request is... for the testimony concerning the request was taken. I feel as if the roles have been reversed between you two. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> This request came to me, oh, about a week ago. It was a request for my services on the night of the award ceremony. We met at a certain bar to discuss and finalize a few. That is what, what occurred, I, I trust my memory, and I believe I made no mistakes. You physically met your client, huh? That is correct. Meeting one's client is the first step to building trust, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, now on the state, uh, now you're gonna press him on the statement. Finalize a few matters. So you phys physically met Adrian Andrews, right? Of course I did. Press further. I'd like for you to give us a few more details. I always meet my clients as a matter of principle. I've never taken a request by telephone or mail. And why is that? That's because I value the trust between a client and myself above all else. And the only way to establish that is to speak to the client while looking them in the eye. It was not important. Shit. Are you fucking stupid? <laughs> You see, it's just as I said. God damn it, man. Dude, I think you fucked it up. I think you have to start it over again. <laughs> You start from the bar. You we go back to the bar. Okay, press further. Now this time we say it's not important. Why he meets his clients is not important, and that wasn't the point. Stop sidestepping the question. What do you mean by that? My question was, did you really meet Adrian Andrews in person? I've already told you, Mr. Wright, I did. It was only through ta talking with him face to face that I began to trust him. Uh, you fucked up. There. That's when I thought, I can trust this person as a client. It was very important. Your Honor, I believe the testimony just now was of utmost importance. If that's the case. Witness, please include your statement just now in your testimony. Well... Now you present Adrian Andrews to this statement right here. For some reason, I kept on looking at the Shelley the Killer images here, thinking I was going to pick one of them. <laughs> There's two of them there. <laughs> 
There's two of them now, and I never actually. Like, it took me a moment to figure out this is not who I'm looking at at all. <laughs> I would like to go over this just one more time. You met Adrian Andrews at the bar and took their request at that time. Yes, that is correct. And that's when you thought he was trustworthy. How many times since I repeat myself? Yes, that is correct. I'm sorry, but that is an impossible tale. What? Shelly the Killer. You've never met the real Adrian Andrews. Why would you say that? Because you made one very big slip up about her. So what is the issue? did you just say? About her? If you had ever met Adrian Andrews in person, one look would have told you that she was a woman. <laughs> and exploded! Oh shit! Get it back together! Shit, we lost connection! <laughs> this witness testified to the following. Did he always meet his clients face to face when taking their requests. Yes, Your Honor, that's exactly the point. That means Mr. Killer's client could not have been Miss Adrian Andrews. Oh, it's sweat and oil. Oh shit, keep it again. <laughs> little short circuit. has to do with her name, Your Honor. Adrian Andrews has found out a very... A androgon... A androgon... Androgynous? Androgynous... That doesn't sound like an actual word. I'll have to look up how it's actually said later. But... Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's dictionary.com worthy right there. And luckily for Mr. Dekilla, the entire time he was on the stand, no, no one had stated Miss Adrian Andrews' gender, and so he simply picked the wrong gender to go with. Judge would be like, what the fuck is going on here? Shelly the killer? This court demands an explanation? Uh, I think somehow I must have mixed up this client with another. So does this mean you remember something different now? Yes, of course. Please, if you would allow me to testify once more. Going with more lies. Yes, now I remember. I took that request by mail, even though I said I would never take re by mail. Fush it. <laughs> There have been many many times when I took a job without having met my client. No, I Bullshit. said I, my clients. <laughs> the request was for the murder of one and two or three other small things. When I saw the name at, at the end of the letter, I thought my client to be a man. This is a red herring. What do you mean? I mean, we can't break it completely, because then he'll just fucking pop out the pistol and shoot my in the head. <laughs> Cross-examination time! Okay, now, on the, you're gonna press him on the statement that requests for the murder of one Karita and two or three other small things. Two or three other things. Yes. What were these other things? A few other things that have nothing to do with this case. Bullshit. Press further. 
us further. Mr. Attorney. Yes. Everything I said from the beginning has been nothing but beneficial to your client. Which is why I wonder, what is pushing you to continue with this cross-examination? Could it be that you are planning to betray your own client? That's... I smell the stench of a backstabber. Says a this coming from a backstabber himself. And shouldn't you turn out to be one? Wait. Press again. When this is a very important matter, please cooperate and tell us these other jobs your client were client requests were. If it's truly that important, I suppose I don't have much of a choice. The bear figurine. The bear. After the assassination of the target, I was to find that figurine. I was told that this job was just as important as the actual killing. And where was that figurine? It was inside Mr. Karita's suitcase. And then... It was in the guitar case? No, you mean like his actual suitcase where he kept his clothing and stuff. Oh. So you okay. can actually see that in the room as well. It was open when they we found it. Hmm. I handed it over to my client right away. So you gave it to your client. Interesting. As you wish. Now, on this statement, you're going to present the figurine. You're full of shit! Shelly, if you had really given the bear to Miss Andrews, then this item should not have been inside of it. This item? I see where you're going. That's where I'm going. Where's everyone going? Do I need a suitcase? <laughs> Can you please think back to Miss Andrews' testimony. For her sake. If even for a single minute, this bear had actually been in Miss Andrews' hands, then she would have taken the suicide note out and burned it! So that's where you two were going. But by the very fact this suicide note was still inside the bear, that tells us your client didn't know how to disassemble the puzzle. It means, Your Honor, it's impossible for Adrian Andrews to be the client. It's broken again! <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Wright. I am sure i mentioned this before, how I hate traitors above all else. That coming from a traitor. I think your cross-examination has clearly demonstrated something to me. You, you must wish to break your end of our agreement. No, that's not the point. That's enough. If that is your intention, then there is only one thing for me to do. Wait, you better not. Gentlemen, ladies, please excuse me. I have a matter I must attend to. No, you're not doing this. Not yet. Mr. Attorney, bring this trial to a speedy end, and I may stay my hand. Otherwise... Ah! 
right, are you Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. I don't understand a witness's outburst just now. Do you think there's a need to hear more testimony, or is this enough? Well, we should... The prosecution, I... The prosecution... Rest. The prosecution has no further questions, Your Honor. See the day. It's the most unusual situation. No further questions. Then the prosecution has failed to uphold the stance. If that is the case, then even though I'm reluctant, I must believe that Mr. the Killer's testimony is accurate. That would mean Shelly the Killer's client is Adrian Andrews. Sir Wright? Please, yes. when I tell please when I tell you the next uh, several fucking things, you don't go speed enough ahead thinking you know what's what. If I end the trial right here, right now, then your client Matt and God would be declared innocent. In this place, Adrian Andrews would be charged with murder. Bailiff, please bring in the defendant, Matt on guard to the stand. Did the old guy finally decide? Now I have a quick question before we continue this. Will I need to load again? Was I led down a path to a bad ending? Listen, uh, listen, right now if you feel like you need to, make a save. Totally fucking make a save. Because I want to make a save here. Because I felt like we yeah, fucked up okay, with that yeah, testimony, yeah. and we're about to be given a choice. So that's why I asked if I if I, I mean, would we need didn't to vote I mean, no, we didn't fuck up with a testimony to plan. So everything is going according to plan. We haven't made any choices yet, which yes. may lead to an ending yet. Yes, yes. Like I'll I'll tell you when you need to save for real for when that t time comes. Because I feel like we are reaching that point. <laughs> Because during that last very test, close. <laughs> we're almost there. All right. To be honest, I can't think of you as a truly innocent or good person. You've got enough evil to drive a woman to suicide. But at least on a charge of murder, it would appear you are innocent. <laughs> it's supposed to hide that. So, I guess even the old fuddy duddy figured me out. Stern guard. What an atrocious lawyer I have, giving his own client up like this. And that refreshing like a spring breeze crap. It's just as atrocious, don't you agree? Anyway, get on with it and pronounce me as innocent already. Right, Mr. Lawyer? Did that, I would die. I say he's innocent, then Miss Andrews will be charged with murder. Guilty now, or not guilty. You are going to choose. Is 
There's no, oh yeah, f -f whatever, I just, all I care about is the choice. Right. You gonna choose. Guilty. Deserves an answer. I'm sorry. Mountain Guard is. Oh, God! My face! Francesco von Karma! Why? The unlikely hero! You see now, don't you, Mr. Phoenix Wright? This is exactly why you should never take your eyes off that scruffy fool. Bro, well, they never removed that fucking thing off of him, did they? <laughs> nope. Did you bring them? The final pieces, do you have them? You should know better than that, Mr. Miles Edgeworth. A Vaughn Karma is perfect in every way. The evidence is here in perfect condition. Don't worry about Scruffy, he's fine. And his injuries are only minor. All of his items are inside this. Is it in his overcoat? <laughs> That's gumshoes. <laughs> I apologize for its ugliness, but there was nothing else I could wrap these items in. Inside that filthy coat are the fence's final pieces of evidence. Now, was that actually a choice there? Uh, it doesn't say, but I would probably say no. Because I, I feel like either way, no matter what I clicked there, it would have come in with Francesca von Karma yeah. saying otherwise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just the real thing is coming soon. Uh, uh, it, it would. Your Honor, it is our duty to examine every piece of evidence down to the last. I request that Miss von Karma be allowed to present these pieces of evidence. Suppose you're right, Mr. Edgeworth. I grant the permission to do so. However, this one obvious rule applies here. If these items do not bring up any new points, they will not be accepted by the courts. These pieces of evidence are left by the killer during his escape from the police. Yes, Your Honor, the killer left three pieces of evidence. Turn this whole situation around like a miracle. I'm sure of it. The first item is a pistol. Question more details. That just pistol has nothing to do with this case though. But you're still gonna question for more details for all of us. We fit up a form of ballistic sense, so I can't say anything for certain. However, I believe it has something to do with this case. However, at least with me. You know, oh, right. Boy your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pistol used to shoot you, isn't it? That is what I believe, yes. I kept the bullet they removed from my shoulder as sort of a memento. I'm sure it'll be an excellent sample for a test. Yeah, that's probably not going to help us much, but... The second is evidence of this videotape. More details! Further, yes. 
Unfortunately, there was no time to. But I would speculate the tape is very important. Because he came back to his hideout for it. That's right. Looks like he was trying to recover it. He injured three of the officers at the site. Wait, what do you mean injured? Uh, <laughs> Are you sure you didn't just blast him? Because I feel like he would just, yeah, he would just feel, tear through I mean, police uh, lines. I mean, really, I feel like he would, like, kill any cause any unnecessary casualty. He would only, like, want to kill, like, the target, and in this case, Maya. Now, I, I would like to just, like, see an animation of this where it, he actually does execute the officers. It's just him teleporting like fucking Super Saiyan, just snapping each of their necks, going to <laughs> each one to try and get the tape. <laughs> like, uh... So where do you think Phil went? Fucking goes up, goes in... Stabbing Phil in the... Die, die, die! But somehow it looks like they managed to protect it from the killer. Shelly the Killer is no ordinary man. But you know what's on this tape? The this last piece of evidence is the this bellboy's uniform. That was that used during the crime? I am almost certain it was. There's even a pair of black leather gloves in one of the pockets. one thing I found interesting about this uniform, and that was, this button, this is the, there's a button missing on this uniform. A button. A very unique button. I'm sure if we were to recover it, it would provide us with an interesting clue. That is all I have to present, Your Honor. And what is that, Your Honor? I'm sure we were under normal circumstances. These items from Shelly the Killer's hideout would be very important clues. However, our question is not who did the killing. It is who is the client. Thanks for your hard work. Miss Swan Karma, you may step down now. Wait, Your Honor. Please, allow me to examine this new evidence. Overruled. Wonderful, absolutely splendid. This judge is such a brilliant man, isn't he? I knew it. No such thing as a miracle in this world. And then later, if you there were miracles, you'd be alive. <laughs> you have to make the miracle happen. So you You've know that thing that happens when your stream dies for no reason and you end up disconnecting? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it happened again. <laughs> Discord, get your shit together! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm feeling like right now. Is it up? It's like the thing's not loading. Okay, now it's here. Thank God. Yay! We're almost done. Don't break now. <laughs> You've come this far, you can't give up now. For my sake, just think about it for a second. There are two ways out of the situation for us. The first... Make unguard wish from the bottom of his soul for a guilty verdict. This client's wishes first. If Ungard himself wishes to be convicted, then he will let his hostage go. The 
second way. Force Shelly to kill her to end his contract with Hungard. Hungard is his client. Then he would let Maya go. I mean, we hold the evidence in our hand that can break this here. Yeah. That's the case, and who does need it? God, there's so much fucking dialogue. We could have been done by now. <laughs> that truth. So, we need to get this video evidence shown and explained. Yeah. Just, you just need to hold your horses because I will tell you what you need to say <laughs> to cut the time down. Need any more evidence. I'm not saying that it's us that needs this evidence, Your Honor. Once you ask with such passion, I will grant you one chance. It's impossible to turn the situation around with one try. That's all I will permit. Just save right fucking now. Because <laughs> this can we're end. Gonna, now, we're gonna get the bad ending first, then we're gonna get the good ending. You're gonna shoot. You're gonna present Maya Faye in the attorney badge. Really? I I don't have anything to say to this. Uh, I I was just shot so. I was certain that was it. Hey, they're not guilty, guys. Yay, Maya gets to live. Oh, perfect record, perfect streak, perfect streak. <laughs> Case came to an end. A killer walked free, and Maya was guh was fine. I walk a lonely road. She was found guilty. And she will be sentenced to death three years later. The miracle never happened. Maybe it was never meant to. Because a miracle is something that doesn't exist. Imagine getting this yeah. ending, but not having the ability to save. Let's right. get the real ending. Let's go. Let's get this shit done. <laughs> Let's get this done now. We can't be doing this any longer. <laughs> okay. Now, obviously, it's gonna be uh, Shelly. Shelly the killer for the him. 
And I'd show him the videotape. The videotape, yes. I think there is some merit in showing this evidence to the, that witness. Please bring in the transceiver! Am I still okay, correct? Didn't I tell you to concern yourself with bringing about a speedy end to this trial? Now, if I understand correctly, you wish uh, to show me one piece of evidence? Yes. One is all that I really need. I have here a videotape. It was found at your hideout. I heard you injured three officers in your attempt to get this back. That was most regrettable. However, it was an order from my client. I was told to protect that videotape. I thought so. I'm afraid I seem to have failed in that regard. You know the contents of this tape? I was certainly told by my client to not watch it. So I have absolutely no idea. Actually, you are on this tape. Me? There was a video camera hidden at the crime scene. Your actions were being recorded. What? was it that planted the camera? Well, only one person could have placed that camera at the crime scene. That would be your client, naturally. Be quiet and listen, Your Honor. <laughs> yes, sir. Your client specified a place and time for you, isn't that right? Uh, yes. That was so they could film you. I had no idea. Mr. Wright, why would my client do such a thing? I would like to know why. As insurance. I can see the see the the. the, the of the arch that you're wanted to blackmail you. Just blackmail. Your client once told me something very interesting. They were talking about you, and this is what they said. But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone, beast of all assassins. Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't above blackmail. Yes, that's where the video comes in. But that, I can keep him at bay. And even blackmail him if I want. He was gonna stab you in the back. If your client didn't trust you at all. They were thinking of using this video to blackmail you. So what do you have to say to that, Shelly the Killer? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Ugh. Shit, put it back together! <laughs> it looks like... It looks like I was being deceived from the very beginning. Yes, by a natural. That's the kind of person they are. Your client is a person who thinks and plots of how to use people around them to protect themselves from any and all dangers that may arise. That is the true nature of your client. I have but one question for the witness. Yes. You told us one thing numerous times during a testimony. You said you detest traitors most of all. Yes, that's right. But what if that traitor was your own client? What would you do to them? What would you do then? That's obvious. I would break our contract in that case. 
And then... That client will become my next target. For the honor of the Dekilla name, even if it takes an eternity, I would follow that person to the ends of the earth to exact my punishment. I see. That's all I wanted to know. Mr. Wright? Yes. My contract with my client is over as of now. I seem to have a new job on my hands. I will now return to you your precious item. What the? I'm not an item. <laughs> Bitch, don't interrupt my phone calls! <laughs> I know what has happened there, just with the client and the witness and... I just want to come up, why did that... She always has it. She always has you in her sights. Now I do believe it's time to finally hand down a verdict. So, Mr. Ungard. Looks like somehow you got what you wanted. You finally received the acquittal you wanted so badly. You should be happy. But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. Needless to say, that man is very good at what he does. I'm sure you would understand what I mean if you watched this video. Help me. Now then, you're on at the verdict, if you please. Finally reached the end of a very long battle. There is no escape for him now. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure if it matters, but it says... Now, I want to do a save yeah, yeah, let's save here and see what not guilty. We're gonna see a man get shot. Sweet, not guilty. Congratulations, Mr. Uncard. Excuse me? Please make sure to save for every moment of what little time you have left. Your Honor, as always, the defense pleads not guilty. Please wait. What's the matter? If, if I get a not guilty, I'll be killed. Um, oh. <laughs> well, uh, he's gonna die. <laughs> We've uncovered the real truth. I don't remember you helping out much with this. Mr. Edgeworth, how is Matt on guard? I have left this Von Karm in charge of his incarceration. I'm sure he's getting a full court meal with leather right about now. It was a close one, wasn't it? I plan to pay my debt to society for my own crime. First time I was called to the witness stand during this trial, all I felt was despair. <laughs> this witness, how should I put it? She has an illness. If you're going to say you would choose death, then it's of no concern to me. What a fucking savage. <laughs> but after that, when I was alone at the detention center, first time I really saw myself for who I am. 
And today, the two of you used your combined strength to convict Matt. I felt like I had finally been saved. She's smiling! I don't know how to express how I feel at this moment. It's the first time I've ever felt comfortable with myself, who I am. Thank you so much, everyone. Man, it take yeah. man it really took being accused of murder to fucking. <laughs> Looks like we've resolved everything at last. As for myself, there's still a few things I'm confused about. But everyone seems to be in good spirits. That's good enough for me. That is all. Court is adjourned. So he might have defaulted to, them get to him getting the guilty verdict, but oh well. So what happens if I choose the guilty verdict, does it say? Uh, the, the same thing will happen. So he claws up his face either way. Yeah. But doesn't that mean we also got him a not guilty verdict already? Or did that not get handed down? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's He might just be living in prison. He might just refuse to leave this courthouse. <laughs> I'm really glad we got him to admit that he was actually guilty by saying that he should be not guilty. Because <laughs> he was too... He's more scared of being offed out in the outside world. I mean, it's like, it's funny though, because I'm pretty sure he's still, like, due to the laws, he's going to get the death penalty three years from now. Yeah. So he's dead either, either way. You've not gotten your client off. You got them a guilty verdict. Of, okay, so. Uh, yep, it does default. Okay. Congratulations, Phoenix. You learned the same lesson uh, that Edgeworth. Ha 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 Reusing story. Ha 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 ha. Think about the decision you had to make right before Von Karma arrived. Yeah, I mean, we were gonna say guilty, so you know. <laughs> is he guilty or is he not guilty? Those were your choices then. And your answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah b bullshit lessons, I don't care. Let's just move on. Right. Edgeworth. I have good news. Maya is now safe in police custody. Billy! Well, that was quick. <laughs> Telling us the truth, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, she's quite safe. She's on her way here as we speak in a patrol car. She's Let's currently a uh, sob down to the bone, like a Holocaust survivor. You did it. You really did it. But this trial only went on for like what two days? Yeah. Imagine if we had to do three-day trials in this. She punches deceptively hard for a child. I believed in you. Yeah, when were you saying that? Because most of the time Mia was around. What's wrong? It's Von Karma. Oh, she's here. Shit. Uh, about earlier. Thanks. Ah! Why are you still smiling, Mr. Phoenix Wright? You you lost! Your perfect win record has now been crushed. And yet, you're still happy. Well, you, well, you, you know, I we've already crushed your perfect win of even. I don't think you'll ever truly understand, Miss Von Karma. How dare you! Don't worry, she may in time after all. I was like that myself until a year ago. What are you still doing here, Edgeworth? For my own personal victories and for guilty verdicts. 
I used every dirty trick in the book. And so my win record remained spotless, but... Until you stop me from getting corporate America off the hook. A man appeared and stood fast against that selfish me. I fought with him my usual manner, tasted my first defeat. I felt like I had lost everything because of that. And then... And then I thought I murdered a man. It's my turn to sit in the defendant's chair. And I was saved by the person I called my enemy. I couldn't forgive myself for all that happened, so I left the prosecutor's office. And I left a note. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. Well, you should have. A prosecutor who has shamed himself with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. But that was not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. In that moment of clarity that everything began to change. What foolish nonsense. We prosecutors use everything we can to attack the defendant. But every time we did so... Shut the fuck up! No matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people, that man would hold strong with his undying faith. And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. What? You trusted your enemy? Because of how many underhanded tricks a person uses, the troop will always find a way to make itself known. The only thing we can do is fight with the knowledge that we hold and everything we have. Erasing the paradoxes one by one. Wait a minute. Paradoxes one by one. What about our paradox? I'm not, I'm not gonna even try to think of what you're trying to say. Our Discord channel is a paradox. I know, and I was hoping that wasn't what you were pointing out, but it was... So now I'm upset that it's so useless. You disappoint me with your puns. I wish you would stop. It's all coming out now. Edgeworth plans to erase our Discord. Save us. See, people, this is what I have to work with. This is my, <laughs> this is my co-worker here. I own the camera and the editing table. I can make whatever I want happen. And I'm your comedic partner, okay? <laughs> I gave you that 4.4 thousand view video. That was me. Actually, it's 4.5 now. Why are people still watching it, damn it? <laughs> because it keeps getting recommended to them for whatever reason. We'll get them a part three, eventually. Oh, eventually, it's been like two years, but we'll get it eventually. It's never easy. We call and scratch for every inch. But we will always, eventually, Reach out for that one single truth. This, I promise you. The truth. Yes, that's the reason why prosecutors and defense attorneys exist. I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you, Mr. Wright? I mean, we are, I mean, we as actual people knew that that's what their jobs were, but you guys were thinking it was fucking competition, and I'm surprised you guys even have fucking jobs. That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man who went into hiding, isn't that right? This man who only had his sights set on victory. Who ran away into the night. It's Mr. Edgeworth, right, Mr. Nick? Did she just now figure this out? She's like eight years old. She's, a, she's dumb, okay? She's too young to understand. I believed in the things you said to me all those Go back years ago. To the childhood, yeah. And you betrayed your own words. That's why one year ago, 
I mean? made up my mind. I mean, you know, it's not even, it's really not even his fault, you know, on account of your dad dying and being taken in by the world's most renowned prosecutor. I decided being grilled for 15 Edgeworth years. I knew had died. At least that's what I told myself. You pathetic fool. Hey, it's von Karma, stop being mean. I don't want to hear wretched whimpering of a disgraced loser. A von Karma is someone who is destined to be perfect. Miles Edgeworth, you are no longer worthy. You are no, long you are no longer worthy of being a von Karma. And neither am I. It's over. It's all over. I'm leaving. I'm taking my whip. I'm using it as a noose. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Francesca threw something on the ground just now. This is an oh, electromagnetic procedure. Now. Look, the thing she used to track gumshoe. I'll return this to the precinct later. There's something else here. Ah, isn't that Miss Von Karma's whip? I'll never set foot in another courtroom again. I'm sure that's what she's saying by this action. You should keep this, right? Hang it on your wall as a memento of yet another prosecutor. Uh, shouldn't you be like that? Shouldn't you be like down to the and now you've starved? Maya, you're alive. Clothes are pretty clean for someone who's been starved in a dirty room for two days. I knew you would come through. You got on guard convicted like I knew you would. I mean, yep. we were totally gonna let you die. <laughs> on top of that, you even rescued me. Well, of course I did. You know I would never desert you. No, no, we totally were gonna let her die. <laughs> Pressed our luck this trial. You're lucky to be alive. It's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and haunt you like a bad ghost from pearls. Yeah, exactly. We wouldn't have lost anything. <laughs> I mean, it probably would be that easy. Thanks a lot. Don't mention it. You're dead to me. I'm gonna kill you in your sleep. Maya. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. I'm relieved you're all right. Looks like you've made some real progress, Edgeworth. Well, I suppose I'm a little different from who I was a year ago. Yeah, a year ago, I would have been happy to watch you die. All right. Well, you probably get yourself some burgers. I think it's time we get out of this depressing place. Where are we going? Food. 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 He starved me like an animal. Prime rib, at least. <laughs> no, don't kid yourself. Come with us, Mr. Edgeworth, please. Uh, if you insist. Social anxiety! We head up our usual burger joint. This case messed up that awesome evening. Oh, you, I guess you know where we're going back to. Away with my gourmet food, so I decided. By having another feast. Another. Oh, but, uh, we're going back here. Hey, pal, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh my god, he looks so different without his coat. Yeah. Govshu, you're all right. Maybe with a minor concussion, but you're all right. Yeah, but I'm really embarrassed. I didn't think I'd hit a telephone pole of all things. Telephone pole, or really? You did it again, city boy. Felt like my dear old heart was gonna give out on me, and I ain't joking. 
Yeah. It was more exciting than, it, than the very last episode of this Samurai. Thanks. Now look you here, Mr. Schnooty Prosecutor. Don't you reckon you bullied Mr. Rat too hard? You gotta start being a lot nicer to him. You might just kick it. Tonight, even. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Social anxiety. Well, come keep on now. Emanating off of them. Everybody gather around. Get your picture taken by a genuine professional photographer. I know. What? I thought we got our old one back. No, that's considered evidence still. <laughs> Well, pal, I'll, uh, at least I can uh, put this messy case behind us now. Come on, tonight's all about eating, so let's go chow down, pal. Amen to that, pal. Amen. Don't you be stealing my catchphrase. <laughs> I'm the one who says pal around here. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, you were the one who saved the day, detective. Oh, me? You really think so? He's right. If it wasn't for the three items you took, I think the trial would have been would have had a very different ending. <laughs> well, you know it's uh, <laughs> uh wait a minute. That's odd. I ran off with the things from the killer's hideout. I was sure I took four things in total, sh sir. What? Four? Yeah, I'm sure I put one of the items in my coat pocket. There was a fourth item. Ah, come on, y'all, it's over. Ooh, boy, I tell you, there was some really something else. Between getting accused of murder and getting kidnapped, never a dull moment with you. If anything, you're a fucking liability. You think? She's happy about being a liability. She's a demon. Being shut away for two whole days? Aren't you scared? Real scary. I drew a picture. Sounds like you had it rough. Towards this picture. I don't know where it went. That's too bad. Wasn't anything important anyways. I think I know where it is. This is dragging on so much. Wait, who could be calling? No, that's just... Yeah, it's that. This thing's picking something up. Oh, that's... This was Von Karma's receiver. Well, thanks to her, I had the most awful experience in my life, sir. I can't believe she stuck a tracking device on me. That's odd. You know you're standing right here. The tracking device seems to be in a different location. It was probably busted or something, sir. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm afraid it's about time for me to excuse myself. I still have some work to do. Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't eaten anything. <laughs> You've eaten too much. I've had fun tonight. Now, if you'll excuse me. Wait. What? I just want to say thanks, Edgeworth. You saved me out there. If anyone should be saying thanks, it should be me, right? Final thing to present to someone, you'll be presenting the whip. Take 
Oh, I don't get to hit him with it. <laughs> it's all thanks to you two. You and her. You don't need to thank me, I was only doing my job. It looks like Mr. Edgeworth has left. Guess you two can finally go back to being lovey-dovey. <laughs> Please stop. Cut it out already. Uh, anyway. So, who's paying for this lovely dinner party? I think you need to ask. Everyone say thank you to Nick. What? Bitch, I don't get paid. Actually, we definitely wouldn't even be paid. We get paid because we did have our client get guilted. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of at the point where I can't even buy instant noodles, pal. <laughs> yeah, he's uh been fired too much, so I kind of already put your name on the bill. I don't think that's allowed, to be honest. That ain't right. What? Yeah, I got me Yeah, you bought two really expensive cameras, so... I like that myself. This camera shop in this hotel, see? I bought myself good old beauty here. $3,000! That's almost double the last one! I reckon you bought it for me since it's on your tab and all. What the fuck? How do you have access to that? Isn't this great? No, not at all. I need to hold it back now. Yeah, pal. Time to let it all out. First time I really I hear the real you. <laughs> Alright then, if you say so. Ah, I'm broke! It's finally over, except for the epilogue section that we'll have to get to after these people. Living on the edge. Escape death three times now. Pretty cool. Feel like a pro. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... It won't be the last time either, believe it or not. We only have one more game. It can't be that bad. I mean, it's gonna have this one. This one's gonna have. Five... Oh. It's all gonna be centered around. A specific theme. What the hell could the third game's main theme be? I mean, you'll know once we get once you, we uh, get done with the first case of the game. It'll be a reoccurring problem. Oh, you got back on the course again. Uh. And that one goes bad for all society. Hey. Alright, you. Retiring Word. this uniform as of today. Going to be a waitress from now on. And bring Seriously? smiles and joy to the people who come by the restaurant. Hope you're still. Stop by me sometime. That's a weird career change. But a necessary one. Is it? Probably. Oh god, not you. Mm, yes. Are you here to patient? Hmm. I am Dr. Hottie Hall. Recently? Hmm. Yes, that girl, you know. I haven't seen her around. Hmm. Yes. But I remember. But there's so much of an eye on her, she'd go crack. It didn't matter if I got with the. Hmm, yes. Oh, oh. What a fucking disaster.
God, I don't, I don't care about the carnies. Let the world know we're serious. Fabulous flight to Zimbabwe. <laughs> Castles made of cake and bunnies who can talk. No. I think the talking bunnies, they, they, even they won't laugh at most jokes. Please don't make us go through all the fucking carnies, man. I don't want to. I honestly consider that whole, this whole kit, this whole case right here, a fucking episode. <laughs> it's like at least in the first game, all the fucking felt important. Yeah. The third case in this game, not important at all. You see, the character I want to come back is Trillo. He was a fun character. But then, not so much, but Trillo. Trillo's the man I want. <laughs> Trillo's the man. An ordinary electric razor recharging on a stand. I can't believe this, really. How long have they put on my feet to do this? Why is she still doing it? It's over. They wouldn't forget about me, would they? <laughs> For like this in the old days. They used to call me Queen Wendy. Treat me like royalty. Uh, here we go. Firing is dangerous. Burn down. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, we so we never just... actually stopped her from checking for extra bumps and shit. Yeah. Hey, how's prison? Appreciate everything you and Edgeworth did for me. I received a letter from Miss Von Karma. After I get out, she'd feel free to consult her about anything. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't consult her on there very many things. She's probably retired and become a therapist. I, I think she's the one who needs therapy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he jumped ship to a different country. Visit my home the page. Homepage. Well, self destruct in five seconds. Four. <laughs> three. Wait, you never told us his homepage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's his, <laughs> I, I want to go to his homepage. <laughs> I want to see what it's like. International departures. Yes, yeah, the airport. Ah, Francesca's going somewhere. The epilogue. How did you know I was here? What's this? That's... I heard you were planting things on a certain person. Things are like tracking devices. In his coat, for example. Yeah, she never... She kept the coat, I think. It's just like you. I only plant it there because he's always wearing it. This filthy trap coat of his. I don't know how it ended up in my luggage. It's going in the trash, I promise you that. Oh, that's right. Speaking of that man, you told me something very interesting. Yeah, I'm not on the page. It's fine. It's flashback. I don't care. Four things. There were four evidences. Seems he put the last one in his coat pocket. Put it in here. It doesn't matter anymore. The case is already over. What are you going to do now? That's none of your business. Very are you is. running away? Shut up! You don't understand a thing. You can't possibly understand what it means to be a mad Fred von Kahn's daughter. Francesca. So many expectations from everyone around me. Expectations I must fulfill. I'm expected to win no matter what, and failure, such a thing is not an option for me. My father was a twice. genius. There's no doubt about that, but... But me, I'm no genius. I've always known that. But I... I had to be one. I had to. 
You may not be a genius like your father, but you're a prosecutor. You have been and always would be. No, I'm not. Not anymore. I've even thrown my whip away. Speaking of that, Wright gave me this to hold on to. I'm going to say this again. The prosecutors do not fight for personal honor or pride. I hope you'll think deeply about what you should be striking down with that whip. You haven't changed a bit. You've always left me alone and walked ahead without me. Miles Edgeworth, I've always hated you. And then, finally, my chance of taking my revenge on you arrived. If I could win against that man, if I could make Phoenix Wright bow down in defeat, then this girl you left behind would have risen higher than you. Now it's supposed to be my revenge. I see. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can. It's like how Adrian Andrews did. You're going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using his tactics, isn't that right? Today, you chased after me, after I'd left you behind all these years. That's why you're standing here now, side by side. But I have no intention on stopping. If you say you're going to quit and walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Francesca. I am Francesca von Karma. Don't think I'm going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. You better prepare yourself, Miles Edgeworth. And we never saw her again. One day, someday, we'll meet again in battle. Until then, my last piece of evidence that never made it to you. Take good care of it. Piece number four. So I can give it to you. When at last we meet again. Oh snap! Yeah, that's the card that Maya had when she was a cat when she was in captivity. I'll just hold on to that for later. <laughs>